All right, so this is module three, lesson five, homework. I was trying to get the uh, screencast where I could do the live, but uh, for some reason when I was trying to go live, I kept trying to get my video camera or my web camera instead of the actual screenshot here. So got to work on that. Either way, we are back. Let's look at number one. The picture below shows three fourths of a rectangle of the rectangle shaded. Use the picture to show how to create an equivalent fraction for three fourths, and then you're going to subtract one third. So let's say three fourths. We're going to split this into three fourths. Uh, we can say three fourths minus one third. So let's go ahead and make a fraction for one third. Try to make it the same size as that, and let's use our horizontal lines. Remember, they're going horizontal already, so we want to use our vertical lines. You got to be mindful of that. So if we want three, we want to break this into three. We're going to use two lines to make three. So that's one, two. So now we have three sections there. All right, and we're going to shade in one of the three. Let's do that. So take your uh, crayon, preferably, or a color pencil or something. Get yourself a set of really nice color pencils. And you'll be able to make some really good uh, artwork in your in your book. Also, get a little ruler. As a matter of fact, I'll give you these rulers tomorrow. I have some so that everybody can have one. And there you have it. So we have our three fourths minus one third. So now we know we have to match those up. So let's use blue here. And I'm gonna take my two red lines here and move over to this chart. So I'm gonna be very specific. I want to move my two red vertical lines from my second square to my first square. All right, so take two red vertical lines. In this case, I'm going to make them, try to make them as close to a third as possible. Now you notice we can say, well, what's four times three? Twelve. Now we got one, two, three columns going up and down, and one, two, three, four rows going across. So three times four is 12. I know I need to make these thirds in the 12 spot, running three lines and split it into four equal parts horizontally. So let's go. Three lines. Now that's not accurate, but we can still see our 12s. If that was accurate, we can put not drawing the scale if you want everybody to know you didn't measure it out. Now I will challenge you to, uh, when we get this graph paper out of the back of the class later on, I will challenge you to see who can make the best equivalent fractions, but that's another uh, day. Maybe we'll look at that on Wednesday. Either way, so now we have same thing here. We got one, two, three, four going down, and one, two, three going across. We just said that four times three is 12, so we know that we have out of 12. So now we can rewrite this fraction that says three fourths as nine twelfths. So now we know that we can say, well, that's equal to nine minus four is five, and that's our answer. Number two, it says find the difference. Use a rectangular fractional model to find common denominators. Simplify your answer if possible. Now that simplify your answer if possible is important because if we don't simplify our answer, we're going to lose points. Find the difference means they want us to solve. And then we have to use the rectangles and then we have to simplify. So it's three things that they're asking us to do. That's key. Let's do the rectangular model first and that's going to probably be a large part of the points. I'm going to do my vertical lines first. We got six. We need five lines. It's one, two, three, four, five. They don't have to be perfect. And then we got thirds. So we just want to split this into three. One, two, three. I know six times three is 18. So I'm going to end up with 18 boxes there. I'm going to shade in first. That's five out of six. All right. So I was supposed to go horizontal here. Made a mistake. Now, that's something that can happen to anybody. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention there. I caught it early, so it's not going to be too much damage. Hopefully, you were able to see that as well. All right, so now that's split into thirds. It's not perfect, but that'll do. And I'm supposed to color in one third. So I'm going to color in my bottom third. All right, and there we have it. So now we have a bottom third covered in. Now we're going to put those uh, other lines on. So let's go ahead and add some horizontal lines to this one over here. Let's change them to blue. Add my horizontal lines going side to side like the horizon. And I'm going to ask Coach Adams. Matter of fact, we're going to ask Coach Adams. We're going to reach out to Coach in the gym and see if we can start to measure some of these vertical leaps. So we're going to measure our vertical leap going straight up and down. Uh-oh, remember, I want five. So one in the middle and then two on each side. That's one, two, three, five. So now I should have 16. So let's go ahead and count those. 
I'm sorry, 18. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 1, 2, 3. 6 times 3 is 18, right? So this is going to be 18 minus 18 equals 18. So let's see how many we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 1, 2, 3. I know 5 times 3 is 15. Now down at the bottom, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's just it. 6 times 1 is 6. So now I do the subtraction, and now I'm going to come up with 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. I know that this answer is correct. Again, if you wanted to check using the reverse method, you could say, well, 5, 6 minus 1 third. But I know that these two numbers are going to switch places. Uh, this is going to be 3. Now here is going to be 6. I'm going to multiply that out. I get 18. And it is 6 times 1 is 6. And 5 times 3 is, is 15. 18 minus 6 18. I know the difference is 18. All right, let's take a look at B here. B. So I have 2 thirds minus 1 half. All right, let's shave it in. So we have two thirds minus one half. All right, let's go ahead and subtract it. Well, oh, let's go ahead and divide it. So we need to split this each half into thirds to give us six. That's three times two is six. So we know we're gonna have six there. Then it's gonna be split straight across the middle, splitting each third in half to give us six. All right, so now our new fraction is gonna look like this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know it's going to be 6 minus 6 equals 6. Let's see. 1, 2 by 1, 2. 2 times 2 is 4. We're going to just have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I have 1, 2, 3 by 1, which is 3. We could have counted 1, 2, 3. I know that that's going to be 1 sixth. So if I had 2 thirds and I ate 1 half, I would have 1 sixth remaining. Looking at the rest of these, I'm about to turn it up a little bit. All right, got my boxes out there. Now let's dice them up a little bit. All right, got those vertical lines in. Now let's go ahead and get those horizontal lines in. All right, now let's go ahead and shade in all of our colors we needed. All right, now let's shade in the subtrend or the second part of our subtraction problem. All right, I want you to push pause here and multiply all of your denominators so you can see what your common denominator is going to be. So first you're going to say 6 times 4 is what? 5 times 2 is what? 3 times 5 is what? 7 times 3 is what? All right, so let's take a look at that now. Hopefully when you did your multiplication, you came up with 24. So we know that our common denominator is going to be 24. So now we got to split this fraction so that it's in 24. So let's take our... Since we got our horizontal line ready, let's go ahead and go do that. Let's make sure it's red for our horizontal line. We need three splits. That's one, two, three. Now let's go ahead and switch over to our vertical tool. We're going to put our one, two, three, four, five lines in. One in the middle and then two on each side. That's one, two, three, five. So now we're going to look and say, well, we got one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five by four. Everybody knows that 5 times 4 is 20. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1. 6 times 1 is 6. So you're going to subtract. Well, we say 20 minus 6. We can't do 0 minus 6. We can't do so. we got to regroup 110 as 10 ones. Now we have 10 ones. If you have 10 $1 bills and you take away 6, you're going to have 4 left. And you still have 110. So the answer is 14. 24. We can simplify. 14 and 24 are both divisible by 2. It's going to be equal to 7 twelfths. And that's one of our baseline fractions. All right. We have 4 fifths minus 1 half. 5 times 2 is 10. So we know our fractions are going to be 10 minus tenths minus tenths. No, that's tenths because it's in the denominator. Let's go ahead and split those with our lines. We have our vertical lines, so we're going to put our four vertical lines in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, perfect. 
And now let's put our horizontal line in to split this, each one of these fifths in half. All right, now let's go ahead and count those up. One, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, 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 four by four by two, I should have said eight. I just went ahead and counted them all up. Then we have one, two, three, four, five by one is five. If you take eight minus five is three. All right, so that's our answer, and that's simplified. We have our next fraction, and we're just going to go ahead and split that. We know that 3 times 5 is 15. We need 1, 2, 3, 4 lines going across. Not the best lines, but we'll take them. All right, let's take a look at that. Now we know we have 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know that 5 and 5 is shaded in, so that's going to be 15 fifteenths, and that's 10 fifteenths minus. And we have 1, 2, 3 times 2, 6 fifteenths. I know that. 10 minus 6 is 4 fifteenths. Only thing they're divisible by is 1, 4 and 15 that is, so I can't divide that. That's my simplified fraction. Next, bars are equal vertical. I need 3, 5, 6. I need my 2 here. Two. By now you should be getting the hang of that. 3 times 7 is 21. Just do a count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. 7 by 3 is 21. We just counted down 3. Let's count back across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is shaded in. Going across. 3 shaded in. Going down. We know that that's 15 by 21 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 2. Because we got one, two rows. It's 14. Don't forget your subtraction sign over 21 we get 1 over 21 which is also our simplest form let's see who can answer this right here robin used one fourth of a pound of butter to make a cake before she started she had seven eighths of a pound of butter give your answer as a fraction of a pound so you have to give your answer as a fraction of a pound and it has to be in simplest form let's go ahead and push that to the next level and four Katrina needs three-fifths of a kilogram of flour for a recipe. Her mother has three-sevenths kilogram of flour in her pantry. Is this enough flour for the recipe? If not, how much more will she need? So if it's not, which it probably isn't, you got to figure out how much more she needs. All right, and I believe that's the last one. Yes, that's the last one. So I'll try to do these right after school so they can be ready for you. Apologize if this is any inconvenience. Just remember the packet is not due until the end of the week. So you have until Friday to turn this in. Get it Monday, give it back Friday. You should be able to do everything. And I'll make sure that I uh, post a little bit earlier next time. Thank you for watching the uh, video again. Feel free to stop and pause in the middle of the video if you need to. Any questions that you have, you can write them in the comments or you can bring them to class with you and we'll address them. Let's go ahead and continue to close these gaps. We're doing an excellent job. Everybody is making progress, pushing towards the um, end of the school year, being ready for sixth grade. We're trying to reach that thousand man marks. So we're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. Let's go ahead and push for that. Uh, let's go ahead and push for that in the next couple of days. Uh, let's see if you can get somebody, invite somebody to watch the channel that you know may need a fifth grade uh, tutor or some help with fifth grade math skills. And I'm trying to be trying to use this to benefit as many students as possible, not just uh, my students at Moravia Park. Either way, thank you. Once again, like and subscribe. Peace.